Hello friends, how are you all? I am doing well. I am fine. You are also fine. Thank you. So today we will be just building an amazing project here in this video. So remember to see this video from start because today we are not building an ordinary project today. We are building an amazing real world project. This will be a holistic real world project. We will be using new technologies in that like we will be using Nexus 13 TypeScript and many other technologies front end back end plus and we will be building an amazing issue tracker. So previously on we have created this issue tracker using different languages but today we are not building it ordinary. Today we are using the front end back end languages and creating this amazing ordinary issue tracker app you can say or real world project. It is an amazing project which we are building through Next.js 13. We will be using other back end and front end technologies as well which I will be telling you moving forward when we will be moving on to the coding. From start I will be telling you that how to create folder, how to just start with this project, what things we will be needing. So remember stay tuned and don't miss any step of this video. So if you understand this video and if you enjoy this project so remember to hit a like to this video and if you are new on this channel want to see more videos like that so just subscribe after subscribing hit notification bell as well so you can get all the notifications of my amazing videos. Share this video with your friends and family members so they can also learn about these amazing things. So just now what we are waiting for. Let's get started with our issue tracker application. So like in the start I'm telling you that we will be just creating this amazing project using various technologies like I'm telling you we will be using Next.js 13 TypeScript and many other backend and frontend languages to create this amazing full stake issue tracker application. So now what we are waiting for let's get started like in the previous videos I'm telling you how to create folder using Next.js 13. So simply on we will be creating in this video as well. So for creating the normal folder in Next.js first of all you have to take new window. In any code editor you can just use Next.js, I am using VS Code as my default text editor. You can use Atom, Sublime Text and there are many various other text editor like you can also use Notepad if your PC is not having so much memory to download some other text editor. So you can use uh, Notepad++, plus plus, Notepad Normal to use Next.js but for using the various technologies with Next.js we will be, uh, we should be having an amazing text editor in which we should be getting all the like features and technologies and then we can just move on to use other technologies. If you are using Notepad, so remember that you can't use different technologies. You can only use Next.js 13 there. So we are using VS Code and in VS Code we are getting all the features like we want to use different technologies with Next.js so we can use it in VS Code. So I prefer you that you should download VS Code because it, it have all the features and it is also having many other different type of things which we can use in our projects like it is also having a different extensions which can make your code more good looking it can make your code more clean looking so it is a really amazing thing and you should download this text editor and you should start work on this so now we have opened vs code with a new window now we have to create folder first of all you have to select the location where you have to create folder i will be moving on to my desktop and i will be just pressing this new and i will be pressing folder after pressing folder you can see this folder has been created on my desktop. Now I will be dragging dropping this folder in my VS code so we can just start working with this. You can give any of the name to your folder. I will be giving it the name as you can say issue tracker app. Like this I have given the name to my project. Now I will be moving on to my VS code. You can see our folder is now having a new folder again but now I will be making new window. I make new window again because now our folder has been renamed so we have to drag and drop it again. You can also open the folder directly from file. Now here you can see this folder is totally empty because we have created a newly folder it is not having any file. So now we will be starting with uh, the word in this folder and we will be creating the file. First of all you have to create an amazing index file here and it should be named as index.html because in this HTML file we will be using Next.js and we will be using our CSS work as well. Then I will be giving the other file name as script.js which is the javascript file in which we will be adding TypeScript as well because you all know that when we use JavaScript so with that we have to use TypeScript as well here. Now we have created both files and third file we will be creating here with the name of style.css in which we will be doing some of the tailwind cases work to style this project. Now we are moving on to our main file but before working on this file I will be opening this file in my default browser. You all know that my default browser is Google Chrome and I use my Google Chrome as my default browser in every video. So I will be now opening this by pressing right click or you can double click also to open this. I have opened now my folder. You can see this is totally empty. We are not getting anything. Just we are getting the title as index.html. We will be changing the title here. So for changing the title, simply you have to move on to your VS code. And now we have to start some of the codes here. So for starting the codes, you have to make the starting codes of HTML. And for creating the starting code of HTML, you have to first of all use the 
tag which is called as doc type tag. Now I will be creating like this and I will be writing here doc type like this. So you can see I have written here doc type in capital. You have to write remember that thing. And now I will be creating HTML after that, but in small. Then I will be closing this tag and I will be now creating HTML land equal to and I will be writing here, which means that language should be in English. If you want to create your HTML code in any other language like in Urdu or in Turkish or any other language you can use that as well. So I will be now moving down here and creating a head tag. Then after creating head tag, create normal meta tag in which I will be writing cursor equal to UTF8. Now move down and create meta name and in meta name I will be writing it as meta name viewport. So I will be writing here viewport like this. Then you have to create content. In content I will be normally writing here with device. Then I will be writing here width and then you have to write comma initial and in initial I will be now writing here scale equal to 1.0. So I have written initial scale 1.0. You can give initial scale with your own measurement. Now I will be moving down and now the main tag is of title. So we will be now considering the title here. So I will be writing the title as issue tracker app or you can also write issue tracker application but I am not writing because there is not too much space on our title. So because of that I am making it not too much big enough. So I will be now saving the title here and I will be moving on to my browser to reload and to see our title is coming or not. Reload it by pressing Control R or you can press this reload button as well. You can see I press Control R to reload and we are getting the title as issue tracker app which we have written in our VS code. Means that our project is working and our file is also working so we can start coding here. Before starting coding we have to create a body tag here in which we will be writing all the code. So you have to move down after the close header head tag then create a body tag in, uh, down this and you have to now simply create a class as main. So I will be writing it name as div class main. Then write here div class as main header. So I will be writing it as it is. Then again create a div class but this should be as icon. Now here I will be writing main icon as well like we have written at the top main header. When you just done with that here you have to now use the issue input div class in which we will be writing all the issue tracker codes which we want to uh, create using this project. So now for creating that you have to simply give a space then you have to now write here issue dash input so this is the div class which we have created. Then I will be now just moving down here and again I will be creating a h1 class in which I will be writing issue input and with that I will be writing it as heading. Now when you just done that move in uh, move forward and write here add new issue. So from this user can add new issue in this issue tracker application. This is a button obviously so you have to just take this thing as a button not any text here so i will be now just moving down and i will be creating another div class down after this tag and here it should be born and input so i am giving the dash so i can just design both button as it is so now here i will be writing another class as div class born then you have to now write here image images slash and i will be writing it as born so here before images i will be writing here Images slash one dot png. So my images are not here. So because of that, it is not giving me the URL of my image. So for getting the image, I will be moving on to my folder and I have created the folder here. So I will be just doing one thing. I will be moving here and I will be moving on to my recycle bin because I have removed this extracted file here of this project. So this is the file. I will be now just restoring this file here. After restoring this, I will be moving on to my project. You can see there it is. I will be deleting this because obviously we are getting the file here. So I will be now moving on to my images. You can see these are the images which I will be using. So I will be just copying this folder here. You can copy this by pressing Ctrl C or copy by pressing right click and copy button. Then move on to our folder which we have created on desktop and I will be pasting my file here. Means my folder here. Then I will be refreshing it. So you can see now our images folder has been going to top. Close this here. Then move on to your VS code and you can see now if I just give the URL again so we will be getting the URL of images. So I will be now writing you can see images slash one.png we are getting the URL. Now I will be also giving the class in this image tag which will be as bond description. So now you can see I have given the class as well. Then I will be now creating the images slash and I will be writing it as bond.png again class bond description. Now you can see we have written here as well but now I will be giving the different class because if I give the same class so when we style this image tag so it will be also styled automatically and because of that I am using different class here and I am using bond assigned to class here. Now I will be moving down after this close div and creating a div class input here and then here I will be writing input type text create here placeholder and in placeholder I will be now writing it as description you can see I have written description then create class 
as input field and I will be adding it as description. Now when you just done that you have to look down create input type text again right here placeholder and here I will be writing assign to by giving a space create class and in class I will be writing here input field and then I will be writing here assign so write here assign like this. After writing this you have to move down after the two close dates which we have closed and I will be writing it as severity which is the class which we have created then again you have to create a div class as severity and I will be now writing here ranking. Then you have to simply write here p tag and I will be writing here low like this and I will be now copying this p tag here by pressing ctrl c paste it two times and I will be now writing here medium then here I will be writing high. After writing this you have to simply write an input tag again and I will be now using the range here in type and then here I will be writing min 0, max 1 or you can say 2 step here I will be writing as 1 and I will be writing here value you can give any of the values so I will be giving the value as 0 class as severity and I will be now writing here range after writing this you have to simply write here a div class as input and then here I will be writing button and then move here and create the button name as submit like this then you have to create div class and here I will be writing it as issue board and then you have to now create div class again in which I will be writing issues you can see we have created the way here as well, give a space down. Then I will be now moving down and linking my script file which is the TypeScript and my JavaScript file. So I will be writing the name as script.js. Save this file here. After saving this file, simply you have to now do one thing. You have to move on to your browser and reload all the things which we have created till here by pressing Ctrl R. You can see now I have reloaded and we are waiting add new issue by just using these buttons. And now you can give the description of your issue and you can also give the assign to like you have just assigned the issue to anything so you can write whom you have assigned the issue to then here these are the panels which we are getting here like if you want to assign the issue on low value you can do it on low if you want to do it on medium you can do it on medium if you want to do it on high so you can just take the graph to high and press this submit button we have not styled this button yet so we will be using payment css to style this moving forward here so you can see now we have just created that all stuff now I will be moving on to my style file here to style these all stuff which we have created till here so I will be now using this tag and writing here a box sizing normally which should be as but before box sizing I will be using margin normally 0 and I will be now writing padding as well 0 then write here box sizing which should be as border box now you have to write here body as font family and I will be writing it as poppins so here you have to now write here poppins comma sensor then you have to now just do one thing like I will be not using the sans serif here so I will be writing here no border because poppins we have used in different videos as well means in my previous videos you can check that out but today I think that we should use a different font family and because of that I am using no border as my font family here now I will be using height as 100 vh and then create background as linear gradient so I will be writing here linear gradient if you don't want that your background should be having a gradient color so you can also give any normal color like red, green, yellow or any other thing. So I will be writing to right and I will be writing here 47766 and I will be writing 8541. So these are the colors which I will be using to give the gradient color on my background. Then I will be giving the display as flex. You can also write the display flex in your class normally in your main file but I am using it manually and separately so I can just show you how we are styling it. Then I will be creating flex direction as well which should be column. And now here I will be writing justify content which should be as center. Then you have to now create align items as center as well. Now here you have to just simply move down create a main class which we have created in our main file. And I will be writing here the name as 85% of the height and width should be 70% here. Now create background color as well which should be white. Now just we have to move down and then you have to just create another tag which should be having border radius of 40 pixel and right here display should be flex then right here justify content and I will be now just writing here center then create align item should be center and here I will be writing position as related then right here main header and I will be now writing here top as zero then create position as actually if you want the relative position you can also set it by your own self by giving your own settlement here then I will be writing here width as 100% with the height as 10%, then use the background color here. You can give any of the background color 18332D, like this one I will be using. Then, here, when you just done that, you have to simply write here border 
now so here i will be writing lab radius and i will be writing it as 40 pixel so here i will be writing then when you just done that here you have to write border top right radius and i will be writing it as 40 pixel here also then you have to write your main icon and in main icon i will be writing the height as 100 pixel and then write your width as 100 pixel as well now when you just done that here you have to now use position as absolute so here i will be writing then write your top 4 percent and then here you have to also write the border radius as 50 percent create background color and i will be using the white background color here and also write background image so you can use any of the background image and it's not compulsory to use the background image if you are having a good color code or if you want to give a gradient color to your background you can also give the color to your background it's not compulsory to use the image like i'm using here so i, I will be now writing here images security.png which is my background image and i will be now just writing here background position here which should be as center and i will be also writing here background position x which should be like 54 percent then create your background repeat and here i will be writing no repeat so like like this then write here issue input and i will be now just doing one thing i will be writing here height as 70 percent then I will be now writing here width 30 percent and after writing this you have to now write your border radius 40 pixel and I will be also writing here margin right 20 pixel then create your margin top as 8 percent and write your padding 5 pixel so here I will be writing this then you have to now just remove this 5 and in the place of it I will be writing 15 pixel write here display and in display I will be now just normally writing here flex and write here flex direction as column then when you just done that here you have to use the justify content tag and in which i will be writing the space evenly then when you just done that you have to create align item center and i will be also writing here position as related then you have to write here issue input and i will be now just using heading tag here which should be having the color and i will be writing 4776e6 which is we have used the color in our gradient effect as well at the top then i will be using the font size here on my project which should be as 3 rem you can give any other font size as well or font family then i will be using bond and input class which we have written in our main file which should be having the relative position left should be 5 percent and i will be also writing the margin top as 2 percent then you have to create width as 110 percent then here i will be writing display flex now you have to move down and after moving down i will be using the bond tag here and here i will be writing width as 10 percent then create your margin right as 2 percent and also write here display should be flex and i will be writing here flex direction should be column then right here justify content should be space between now you have to just write here position as given then you have to write here bond description so i will be writing here bond description which is another class and i will be giving its position as absolute top should be 34 percent and i will be writing here right as two percent like this then right here visibility should be hidden now here you have to just write here bond assigned to which is the class here and here i will be writing position as absolute and then i will be also writing here bottom seven percent and right here right two percent but at the top we have not written the bottom because at the bond description i don't want that my background or my pro or my class should be having the bottom and in bond assigned to i want that my class should be having the bottom and because of that i use the bottom tag here to give this seven percent then i will be writing visibility hidden like we have written at the top now simply move down and use the input field to style your inputs so i will be writing here input field like this and giving the color here to the text as 808080 then you have to now uh, set its font size as 20 pixel width 80 percent and i will be also giving the padding as 20 pixel you can give any of the padding you want so i will be giving the border as none and here i will be also writing the background line right here border bottom so i will be writing it as border bottom which should be 4 pixel solid and i will be writing 18232b then here i will be writing transition as 0.3x and here i will be writing margin bottom and i will be writing it as five percent then you have to just simply do one thing you have to use the input field focus here so i will be writing here like this right outline should be none and i will be writing here border bottom should be four pixel solid and i will be writing four seven seven six e six then you have to write your placeholder and here i will be using the color as eight zero eight zero eight zero 
which is like brownish color you can say or grayish color then i will be using the severity here and in severity class i will be giving the font size 20 pixel right color as 808080 now use the margin top here which should be as 10% and i will be writing the width as 80% as well save till here and then move on to your browser to check it is working so i will be pressing control r to reload it after reloading you can see nothing is working because it is not working we have not linked our style sheet in our main file so for linking the file we have to simply write the link and i will be writing here rel and here i will be giving the name as style.css save this file here now if i just show you by reloading by pressing control r you can see now the things are styling here and we are getting all the effects which we have given on our main tailwind css file now when you are getting this you have to simply write here severity ranking so i will be writing like this severity ranking and here you have to now simply write here display as flags here and i will be also writing here justify content as space event then here i will be also writing margin bottom as 3% and then when you written this thing here i will be moving down and write here again severity range and then here i will be writing it as bracket appearance which should be none so here i will be now writing bracket appearance none then use the width as 100% and i will be writing here background as y now create here border this should be 3 pixel solid and i will be writing 18232b like this now you have to move down and write here border radius should be 20 pixel and i will be also writing here outline none and here i will be writing severity range and then you have to now write here hover as cursor and i will be writing here pointer now write here severity range and i will be now writing here bracket dash slider thumb and then you have to now write here bracket appearance and then here i will be writing bracket appearance none and then you have to now write here background as here i will be writing 44766 e6 then here i will be writing height as 20 pixel and i will be also writing the width as 20 pixel now you have to write here border radius and then write here 20 pixel now when you just done that here you have to write cursor as pointer so here i will be now writing this right here input button and then you have to now write here height 10% then i will be now writing here width as 45% then you have to now write here margin top right here 10% and i will be now writing here background color this should be like 47766 e6 then you have to now write here color should be like f4 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 then you have to now just write here border 3 pixel solid and i will be writing here 47766 e6 then create border radius and i will be writing 40 pixel right here font width as 700 now when you just uh, done that here i will be moving down and then i will be writing here transition normally as ease and out then you can set it like point ps or any other by your own styling so here i will be writing display as well like we have written at the top as flex then right here just define content center and right here align item as center as well now just write here input button and here i will be writing cover which should be cursor as pointer color of text should be white and i will be also writing here background color as white in the place of color right here border as 3 pixel solid and i will be writing 47766 like this now here you have to simply move down and i will be writing here color which should be 47766 then write here issue board and then you have to write here height as 70% then i will be writing here width as 50% and here you have to write border radius and here i will be writing 40 pixel padding 10 pixel and i will be also writing here margin top which should be like 8% and i will be also writing margin left here which should be like 5% then here i will be moving down right here issues overflow so here i will be writing overflow auto then when you just written this here you have to write here height as 100% and then you have to now move down and then here I will be writing dot issue and here I will be writing padding 3% 0 3% 0 then you have to write here display flex so here I will be now writing that and here I will be writing flex direction column right here align item flex start then here you have to write here justify content and then I will be writing space event and here you have to also write border radius which should be uh, as 40 pixels then i will be writing here with 90 percent and here i will be writing background color this should be f5 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 then here i will be writing color this should be like 808080 then here i will be also writing margin left which should be like 3.5 percent 
and write your margin bottom which will be like 6% and here I will be also writing transition 0.3s like at the top we have written write your position as related now when you just run that here you have to now use the issue tag and now I will be giving the hover here as pointer cursor as pointer and write your background color which should be RGBA 150-181-247-0.1 now you have to write your issue again and write your hover in which I will be writing here delete issue so here I will be writing delete issue like this and then here I will be writing visibility as visible so here I will be writing that now you can see we have written that all the stuff so simply I will be now pressing ctrl V and I will be writing that issue id open so here I will be writing this and then here you have to now just do one thing you have to remove this like this and then move down and create a tag as margin left 50% and write here margin top as 5% then you have to now write here margin bottom also which should be as 5% and write here flex 1 now you have to just write here issue id and here I will be writing display should be flex and then you have to write here issue again and write here issue open like giving the height as 30 pixel and then you have to now just write here width as 60 percent then you have to write here margin top and then I will be writing it as 8% and write here color as white. Then you have to write here background color which should be like 00 CAD 9 and then you have to now write here border radius which should be 10 pixels. Then here I will be now just doing one thing. I will be giving the display here as flex and then you have to now just do one thing like justify content as center. Now create align items as center as well and write here issue name and here I will be writing the width as 100% write here height as 100% as well then create here margin left and then here I will be writing 5% write here display and then here I will be writing flex then you have to write here flex direction column and then you have to now write here justify content as space evenly and here I will be now just doing one thing I will be moving down here and write here flex to then you have to just create issue description and then here I will be now writing that and create width as 80% and here you have to write margin bottom 5% and here I will be writing word wrap and write here word wrap like this break word then when you just written this you have to now do one thing like here I will be writing issue so here I will be writing issue server D in which I will be writing the width as 25% then write here display as flex and then write here align items as center. Now create here margin bottom as well which should be 5% and in the end write here font size as 1.3. After doing this save this and now we will be seeing that till where we have created now our project. So I will be reloading by pressing ctrl R. You can see now we are getting our graph styling here and we are also getting these all text moving here. So now when we, we will be coding, so we will be taking description at the right side, as I to at the right side and all these things here at the left, so it will be looking good. So for doing that, just I will be now moving down and here I will be writing issue server D and write here field tag with that. After doing that, just you have to now simply write here server D input, uh, just you can say uh, perfectly because if we done any of the mistake here in this server D, so we should be getting errors. So we have to check that we have written it at the top perfectly as well or not because here you can see this is the input button and we have done mistake here save it and then reload okay so now we are getting the button style here so now when you are getting that all this stuff you can see it is perfectly fine i think but still we should check at the top like we are getting all the things fine or not so i will be moving at the top to check it again so just we'll be Doing like you can see, we have written one class as issue. So we have to check that this is a class of issues or not. Because I think that we have only used the issue class, not the issues. So we have to check that we are getting this issue class or not. So for doing that, just you have to now move on to this line here. So we have to check that. So I think issue is the class, so it is perfectly fine. So we can move on further. So we have we were using the this tag. If I just show you, we were using the issue severity P. So we will be using that, but before that we have to move at the top to check all the things are fine or not. Okay, so we have written here as well. And it is perfectly fine, I think, because we are not getting any of the spelling mistake here. And now here also we are not getting here also it is fine. And at the top also fine. Means that all the things are fine now. We are not getting any mistake or errors here. 
So now we can move on further. So now when you've just done with that all the stuff, just you have to move here in this tag which we have created. After creating this tag, you have to simply write here the margin left as 10%. You can give any of the margin left, but I will be giving the 10% with my measurement. So I will be writing here assign to. So remember, spelling should be perfectly fine here as well. So I will be now writing here width as 30%. Then I will be writing here display as flex, and I will be writing here align items as center, and write here font size as 1.3. Now, when you just done that, just move down here, and after moving down, you have to simply write here dot issue, and I will be writing here assign to. So here I will be now writing assign to like this, and here you have to just write this tag, and I will be writing here p tag. Then you have to give a space and write here margin left as 10%. Then write here issue buttons, and then you have to create margin as five percent. And here I will be also writing a tag of display as flex. So here I will be writing that. Then you have to write here flex only one. Now you have to just write here issue button. So here I will be now writing here close. Then you have to write here issue. So here you have to write dot as well because it is also a class. So I'll be writing here issue button delete. Then you have to simply write here height as thirty five pixel, and I will be writing here width as hundred percent. Then you have to now just write here color as white. Now when you've just done that, you have to give here padding as one RPM, and also write here border radius as 20 pixels. Then write here display flex, and write here justify content should be in center. Now you have to just write here align items as center here as well. Now when you've just done with that here, you have to give here issue button. So I will be now writing here issue button like this. And I will be now just writing here close. So issue button close. Give here margin right as five percent and write here background color. In background color, I will be writing F C B A zero three. This is the background color which we will be giving. Then write here issue button close and give here hover effect as background color. And I will be giving the hover effect as E six A nine zero one. Then move down and create here issue button again. So here I will be writing issue button dash. Write here delete. And write here background color. So here I will be now writing background color as E zero zero nine zero. Now when you just done that, move down and create issue button, and I will be writing here delete. But now here we will be using hover because we will be giving hover effect here. So I will be writing here background color normally, and I will be writing CC zero six zero six. Then here you have to write issues and write here this back kit. So I will be now writing here web kit dash scroll bar, and then you have to write here web as 20 pixel. And after writing this tag, you have to now simply do one thing right here. I will be moving down right here issues, and write here web kit. Then write here dash scroll bar track. So here I will be writing that track. Then create background as B F E 7 E 2. So this is the background color, and I will be now writing here border radius as 15 pixel. Write here issues again. Write here web kit, and I will be writing here the scroll bar. Um, then create your background, which should be like four seven seven six six six, and then here I will be just doing one thing. I will be making this E small. Now I think it is good. Then here I will be writing border radius as fifteen pixel. Save it here, and now here I will be moving on to my browser. Reload this all stuff, so you can see when we have reload, so we are getting these all these things here. So now when you are getting this thing, we are getting this all thing because we have to. Write some of the codes in our JavaScript means our TypeScript file as well. Because if we press any button, you can see move on here. And if we press any button on our project, you can see nothing is happening. Just we are only getting the hover effect, but we are not getting anything here. So for doing that, we have to give some of the backend code here, and we have to also write some of the styling code to make it more good looking here. So for doing that, move on to the script file here and use the function tag. After using the function tag, we have to write here start local storage. Then make this tag and here you have to write if, and I will be writing it as local storage. And after writing this, you have to now write here dot get item and make this tag here. Write here issues, and after writing, you have to now write here null like this. Then here you have to just move down and create display as all issues. So here I will be now writing that. Then make this bracket close this tag here. Write here else. Make this curly bracket and write here local storage. So just like I tell you that we have just done till here and we were just doing some of the backend work of TypeScript and JavaScript to make this project more good looking and to have a backend in this amazing issue tracker application. And we have just done all the codes of like frontend and of styling. So we have to just move on and we have to just 
work on on our backend and just see that how we can just work on backend and what things we will be including in that. So like this, I've written all these things. You have to also write and then after this all stuff, you have to create a else tag with curly bracket and create local storage tag in that. And now using this local storage, we will be moving forward and working. So here you have to write set item. So I will be writing local storage first of all, and then write here dot set item like this, and then create bracket and write here issues because we are now identifying the issues which we are having. Then I will be using the JSON dot stringify tag which we used already in many other videos as well. So I will be now closing this bracket because I have just done all the things which I want. Now open this bracket here and close this as well. Now move down and then here I will be writing a comment which says that description assigned to means these are the things which I am writing to identify like these are the things which we have to configure and I will be writing 70 input. So I will be writing input fields like this. Now when you just done that you can see we have written the comment like description assigned to x70 input field so we will be getting all the input fields here so now i will be using the font description tag here to assign the description and i will be using document dot query selector here you have to now just use a tag which should be as dot description this is the class which we have used in the main file then you have to close this tag by writing this close tag and now use this assign to here equal to document and then i will be writing dot query selector so i will be writing like this then make this tag and here you have to write assign. So you can see we have written that. Then write here const again and then I will be writing severity equal to document dot query selector. And then I will be now writing here severity. So here you have to write severity dash range. So we have written this severity range like this. Then I will be now writing here selecting uh, submit button. So now you can see we have written selecting submit button. So from there we will be selecting the submit button then i will be writing con submit equal to document dot query selector after doing that you have to simply now use again the same text so i will be now writing here dot input button and this is the class which we have created uh, to just get our button so here i will be now again creating a comment as adding event listener so i will be now adding the event listener on submit button here then here you have to now just give a space and create that adds the issue. So we have to create a event listener or submit button that should be adding the issue to our button. So I will be now just moving down and creating a submit dot event listener tag here because we have to add a event listener here. Then when you just written that you have to simply write here the tag which should be as click comma and then write here display issue or you can also write display all issue but I want to only display the issue and because of that I have used the display issue tag here. After doing that simply you have to now just define another comment and in this comment i will be writing like function gathers so i will be writing function gather all the info for creating issue and i will be writing object so when you just done that you have to now uh, move down and then create a function tag so i've written that like function gathers all the information for creating issue object and because of that we will be creating the other function tag means another function tag and in that we will be storing all our information which we want to store to create or to get the backend in this amazing issue tracker application so i will be now writing cons bond description so like this you have to write then create equal to here and i will be now writing document dot query selector so just like that you have to write document dot query selector then i will be writing bond description here then close this tag normally and here you have to now write cons bond assigned to so here i will be writing bond assigned to equal to then i will be now just writing here document dot query selector and here i will be now just writing dot bond and after writing that you have to write assigned to so after writing that you have to close this tag here and write here creating random and i will be writing id for each issue added so this is the comment which i created like we will be creating a random id for each issue which we will be adding here in this file so i will be now writing here const issue id we have to create so normally i will be creating a issue id as math dot round and here i will be now creating math random so write here math dot random make this bracket here as well then write this multiply sign and then you have to write this value create plus here and i will be now just writing this minus as well plus math dot random make the bracket and here i will be now again writing here math dot random like this and after writing this you have to simply do one thing 
like we have written mat dot random at first, but here we don't have to write mat dot random. Here we will be using mat dot round in first. So here I will be writing mat dot round. Here we will be using mat dot random. And after using this, open the bracket and close as well. Then again you have to make this multiply sign, and again you have to write this value as it is. Now just close this tag here. So you can see now we have closed the tag which we want here to close. And after doing that all stuff, simply you have to do one thing. You have to move down after this tag and create another comment which will be saying create object that will. And I will be writing here the store info about a signal and I will be writing the issue. Then you have to simply write here let issue. So I will be now writing here let issue equal to. Then you have to move down and create ID as issue ID. I will be writing. Then write here is open and I will be writing it as open. Then you have to just close this and then move down and create here making want sign. So here I will be writing making want signs invisible. And write here like a reset before, and then you have to write here that next check. Then here I will be removing that T because I want to write the next check like this. Now when you just done that, you have to write here bond description again, like at the top we have used this there, and I will be writing style dot visibility. So write here style dot visibility, and then make equal to, and here I will be writing as hidden. Then again, you have to just write here bond, but this time I will be writing bond assigned to dot style dot visibility equal to hidden as well. Close this tag here, and I will be now just writing like comment again if there is no value, and here I will be writing inside of description or assigned to. So here I will be writing or assigned to like this input fields the Follow. Like this, I have written this. Now, when you just done that, you have to simply move down and create if description. So, I will be writing if description dot value equal to, and I will be now just making this tag and write here and like this, write assign to as well here. Then I will be writing dot value, then three equal to again like we have written at the start and open close the polys here. Move down after this. Uh, curly brackets here and write the bond description. So here I will be writing. Then you have to write dot style dot visibility. Then you have to create here visible like this and write here bond assigned to. So here I will be writing this and write here style dot visibility equal to visible. Now just close this and here I will be writing return false. Then when you just done that, you have to simply move down and create else if and here I will be writing like this description. Then you have to write dot value equal to make this colon and then you have to write the font description. Then you have to write dot style dot visibility. Then when you just written this, you have to write here equal to visible. Then move down again and create here uh, return false. So here I will be writing this return false. Now just move down and create another tag which will be as else if and I will be writing description. Dot value and then here you have to write equal to. Then you have to now just make this tag and then I will be writing a tag which will be like what assigned to. So here I will be writing this. Then write here style dot visibility and here I will be writing visible. Then you have to now just move down and write here return false. Then here I will be writing what description. Then you have to write here dot style dot visibility and write here equal to hidden. Then you have to close this and move down again. Write a bond assigned to, and I will be writing dot style dot visibility equal to hidden, and then you have to now just move down again, and then you have to create another tag which will be as issue dot description, and here I will be writing equal to description dot value, and here we have to now just move down and create here issue dot assigned to, so here I will be writing issue dot assigned to, and then I will be writing here. Like this tag assigned to here, and then you have to write dot value. Now when you just done that, close this, and then write here another comment in which I will be writing storing severity based on range input like this. Now move down and create if severity, then create here dot value equal to like this, and then write here zero. After writing this, you have to simply move down after this curly bracket and write here issue dot severity. Then I will be now just writing here equal to low. Then close this, and here I will be now just writing else if. So here I will be writing else if. Then write here severity, and write dot value. Write here equal to, 
then write one. Then make this curly bracket again move down. Write here issue dot cmd. Then here I will be writing medium. So when you just done that, here you have to close this tag. For closing, just use this again same tag. Then here I will be writing else. Else I will be writing issue dot cmd. Then here I will be writing high. Then close this and write here return issue. So here I will be writing like this return issue. Then you have to now do one thing like here we will be closing the tag as well so for closing use this tag to close but you can see one thing like we have just closed this tag but here still we are getting some errors and because of that uh, this is not working so here you can see we have just created this tag here means uh, here we have created this curly bracket and after creating this curly bracket we have just not closed this bracket we have only opened this and then we have closed here okay so i think it is perfect but still we have to close it anywhere but I think that it is not compulsory to close it so you can just leave it as it is also so I will be now just creating a comment here which should be as function and I will be writing function that displays info means information about the issue this will be a function which will be explaining you the information and displaying the information about the issue which you are getting here so I will be now just moving down and writing here function display then I will be writing here issue then make this bracket here and here you have to write getting and I will be now just writing here issue object and write here form create issue so here I will be writing that right here function as well now write here const issue equal to and I will be writing here create issue then make this bracket and close this tag as well write here like this and write checking if issue was properly created now here you have to write if slash issue then I will be now making if not function return so here I will be writing not function return user has to add necessary so here I will be writing necessary info return after writing this you have to close this then move down and here you have to just write here like this arr issues is called from this is the comment which I am writing basically local storage and I will be writing here so issue can be added to it now here you have to just write this way data is saved so if we do this way so data will be saved and later used from local storage so data can also be later used with data storage so I will be writing let issue arr then equal to here you have to write json dot parts and make this bracket write in local storage and i will be writing dot get items make the bracket and then you have to write here issues after writing this tag you have to simply move down and write here this tag write here issues and i will be now just writing here object then here you have to write this edit and i will be now just writing to the array then you have to now just move down and write here issue arr and here i will be writing dot push and write here issue like this again then write here array is b uh, then b then here i will be writing like this and write here return to the local storage and i will be now just writing here as a string now you have to write here local storage dot set item and here you have to just write issues then you have to write here comma json dot parse or you can say json of string by and then I will be using here issue. So here I will be using uh, issue arr. Close this again. You have to create a comment as I will be now writing here selecting div that will display and I will be writing here all the issues like this. Now when you just done that, here you have to simply write here const issue. So here I will be writing const issue display div. So here I will be writing that. Then write here equal to just take all spelling so it was just any mistake now i will be writing here document dot query selector and then here i will be writing issues like this now close this and here you have to now write here just like this cons html string so here i will be writing this equal to and make this tag in which we will be writing some code so i will be now creating here a diff class as issue then when you just done that you have to now write here diff class and here i will be now just creating it as issue id open and then you have to now close this and here as well i will be creating a div class as 
issue ID. Then you have to now close this tag. Right here, P tag here. So I will be now writing P tag. Then right here, issue ID. Close this P tag. This gives some spacing from here. Then here I will be again using the P tag, close the P tag as well. And in center, I will be writing here this dollar sign. And with that, I will be using issue ID. So here I will be now using like this issue ID dot ID. Then you have to now close this curly bracket as well. Then here you have to simply do one thing, you have to close the div. So for closing the div, move here. And then right here div to close. Right here P class and in which I will be writing issue dash open. And here you have to write here again the same tag and right here issue dot is open. So here I will be writing that you have to close the tag. Move down and close the div as well. So I will be now writing here div to close. Then you have to simply give a space again so like this. Now when you just did that move down right here div class and I will be writing that issue main and then you have to now just write here h1 class and here in class I will be now using issue description then you have to just now do one thing you have to close this and write here again the dollar sign and write issue dash description or you can say not issue dash description I will be writing issue dot description then you have to close this tag here and here I will be now writing div class and I will be writing it as issue dash severity and then you have to now close this and here I will be writing it as image so I will be now writing here image class and right here or you can say not image class because here we will be using the image url as block.png and then you have to now just close this tag here and write here p tag so here I will be now writing like this p tag close as well this p tag so you can see we have just done that. Now here I will be just writing like this and then I will be writing here issue dot severity and then you have to now close this curly bracket as well and after doing that you have to simply move here under this tag and then close the div tag. So I will be now closing the div like this. After closing this you have to simply move backspace to get some spacing from here and then again I will be creating a div class as issue and I will be now writing here assign to and here you have to now close this and then make the tag again. So here I will be writing image source and then right here images slash avatar avatar slash avatar dot png. Then you have to now close this and here I will be again creating a p tag, close p tag as well. And in center I will be now again writing the dollar sign like at the top we have used. And I will be writing here issue dot assign to this time. Like we have used issue dot severity at the top. Now when you just done with that, you have simply moved down after the divs. So we have to first of all close the divs. So here we are now closing the divs like this. So here I will be now moving. And then I will be closing the div here as well. After doing that, simply create another div with class as issue button. And this will be our last div which we are creating here. But still we have to create some divs underneath that. So two divs we have to create. So I will be writing close button, issue button close, and I will be writing here close. Then you have to write like this div, and right here again div class in which I will be writing issue button, and I will be now writing it as delete. Then you have to now just write here delete. Then you have to now close this div like this. After closing div, we have to now just close the div which we have opened. So I will be now closing the div like this, and then I will be now just closing last div here. So here you have to now for closing that if just again you have to use this div tag. Give some spacing. So here I will be now doing this. Now just give a spacing as well. So here also I will be giving some spacing and then I will be moving down after this tag. So close this. And then after moving down, you have to now just write here issue display div. So here I will be writing dot insert. And I will be now writing here adjacent HTML like this. And then you have to write here after begin. And then you have to now write here comma HTML string. So here I will be writing this. Then close this tag here. And then here after doing that, you have to now create this comment and write here selecting delete. And I will be writing here button and creating. Or you can say and giving it uh, like this delete issue. And here I will be writing function. Now you have to just write here cons. So here I will be now writing cons delete button equal to and I will be writing a document dot query selector and here I will be writing issue dash button and I will be writing here delete. Now close this tag and here I will be writing delete button right here dot add event listener 
then create this line and write here click comma and write here delete issue then you have to close this tag here again right here selecting close button so here i will be writing and write here and giving it close issue so here i will be now writing this then giving it close issue function right here const and then right here close button like this equal to and right here document dot query selector and then you have to write here issue button dash and i will be writing here close then you have to just close this tag by adding this close now you have to just write here close button and here i will be writing dot add event listener and then you have to write here click comma and i will be writing close issue so here when you just like that you have to now move down and write here description and write here dot value like this but before that we have to use the comment so i will be writing here the comment as removing all the info and i will be writing from input fields dash resetting and then i will be now just writing here then write here description dot value equal to and then you have to now just write here assign to so here i will be now writing assign to like this dot value and here you have to write equal to like this and write here severity dot value so here i will be writing severity dot value and then write here equal to and then close this after closing just give some spacing here like this and move down after this step here i will be writing a comment that says that function is a call if there is issue data in the local storage so here i will be now just doing one thing as we moving down and creating a function display all issues so i will be writing display all issues then you have to make this bracket and move down make by making this curly bracket right here selecting so here i will be writing selecting issues there and i will be writing that all issues then you have to write here cost issues display div so here i will be now writing this and write here document dot query selector and i will be writing dot issues and close this then you have to now just write here another tag which will be as cost issues arr equal to then here i will be now just writing json dot parse and i will be writing here local storage right here dot get item and then you have to make this bracket and write here issues like this then you have to close this tag here right for then i will be now writing here let i equal to 0 right here i again so i will be now just closing removing this div and write here issues arr dot length then i will be writing this i plus plus so right like this then you have to now just do one thing make this bracket and move down this is the curly bracket basically which we are creating and i will be writing here html string equal to then make this tag here so i will be now making this call in and here i will be writing the class in which i will be writing here as issue which we have written at the top then again you have to now just create the class here as well as issue id open then you have to now just do one thing create a tag here so here i will be now just giving some space and then here i will be writing div so simply you have to write here div class and i will be writing the issue id and then move down and here i will be just writing three tag so after writing this three tag you have to write here issue id in capital and close this three tag as well write here three tag close three tag and then in center i will be writing another this tag in which i will be writing issue issues arr so here i will be writing issues arr i and then here i will be writing dot id and then close this tag after doing that you have to simply move down and then close the div which we have created here so i will be now closing the div then you have to create three tag in class i will be simply writing the issue open and then close write here this tag and write here issues dot or you can say arr i and here i will be writing a open and then when you just return this you have to now close this key tag here as well now just you have to write this class so here i will be now doing one thing like you can say we have just written that so i will be closing the tag here as well like this after closing this you have to now just do one thing you have to move down and write a div class and here i will be writing issue name then you have to now just close this and here i will be writing h1 class and i will be writing an issue description and here i will be just now just doing issue description or you can say issues 
Yeah, after doing that, you have to write i dot description. Then I will be now just uh, writing here as well. And then you have to write here this script class and write here issue dash server d. And then you have to now just write here another tag. So I will be now just doing one thing. I will be writing here image class or you can say image source directly, which will be major slash uh, log dot. PNG, which is the image which we have used at the top as well when we were just creating the same string here. So I will be now just moving down and then again I will be creating a P tag with close P tag and in center I will be writing this tag here like this in which I will be now writing here issues ARR and then I will be writing I like this and write here dot CYP. Then you have to close this. After doing that you have to simply move here and then you have to close the div as well. After closing the div, I will be now just doing one thing. I will be moving down and write here div class. Here I will be writing issue dash assign to. So here I will be writing like this issue dash assign to. Then make this tag and here I will be now moving forward and writing the image class as images slash awaiter. And then write here awaiter.png. And then close this tag and here I will be writing p tag. So write here p tag and close p tag. In center I will be just writing issues so here i will be writing issues arr i tag and then you have to now just do one thing right there assign to then you have to just now close this bracket here this curly bracket by just using this close curly bracket then i will be moving down and here i will be just writing this thing to close and i will be just also doing this thing to close the list then when you just done that you have to write a diff class and i will be writing issue buttons and then here you have to just close this tag and write here Dip class and I will be writing here issue button and write here close and here I will be writing close and close the div here and I will be now just writing here dip class issue button and write here delete like this and then here you have to write delete and write here dip to close this then when you just said that you have to just write here again the dip tag so I will be closing the dip and here as well I will be writing the dip like this now just you have to do like close this tag here and write here display so here i will be writing displaying issue so write here display issue on the page then you have to write here issues display and i will be now just writing here insert adjacent text then here i will be writing uh, in the place of it insert adjacent html and then here i will be writing after the way write comma html string like this now you have to close this and here i will be writing like this tag but here i will be not using any comment so i will be normally writing the tag as delete button like this and here i will be writing document dot query selector here i will be writing in the place of a query selector all then here i will be writing issue button and i will be writing here delete so write here issue button and then write here delete Close this and then you have to write here font and here I will be writing close buttons. So here as well I will be writing button equal to document dot query selector all and I will be now just writing here dot issue button and I will be writing here close. So when you just done that here we have to check at the top we have done the same thing or not. And now I will be just moving at the top to check that thing. So here you can see we have written all that stuff, but still we have not written the button tag here, I think. Okay, so we have just not written any of the button tag here, so still we have just uh, written these all things and this is the button which we have just used. So I think that this is same. So we have to check that it is same or not. So for checking this you have to move and then check it. So you can see we have just written font delete button and then we have written query selector or as we have just the issue button delete. Okay, so it is fine and then down it is issue button close. Okay, so it is also fine and close button. Adding a display, close issue. Okay, so these all things are fine now. So I will be just moving down in the last, and then I will be again creating some things here. So you can see we have just done with that, and I will be now just doing one thing. We have closed this button here. So I will be moving down, creating a for let tag right here i equal to zero. Then I will be writing i like this, and here I will be writing delete buttons. So here I will be writing like this delete button dot length. Right here, I plus plus like this. Now here you have to just write delete buttons. So here I will be now writing like this delete buttons. 
and then you have to now just write i dead write dot id when listener and here i will be writing click comma and write here delete issue so when you just done that you have to now write here close buttons and then you have to now just write here i dead write dot id when listener and write here click comma and i will be writing here close issue right here this guy you can see we have done that so here i will be now writing function so here i will be writing function that deletes the issue so here when you just done that you have to write here function again and i will be writing simply call on delete so here i will be writing and here i will be writing button press then when you just done that create another function and here i will be writing the delete issue to deleting my issue i will be using that e tag curly bracket move down and write here targeting and i will be writing here targeting the issue id on which delete so here i will be writing targeting the issue id on which delete button user pressed then when you just press that you have to write here so we know and i will be writing which issue to and i will be writing here delete then here you have to write cons deleted issue and i will be writing here id equal to e dot target dot parent node so here i will be writing this parent node right here again parent node then write here children zero so here again i will be using the children tag zero then you have to now just write again the dot value here so after writing this dot value simply you have to now move forward so for moving forward just you can use these all stuff again and then here you have to write dot children and i will be now just writing here one this time and write here dot inner html like this then when you just done that you have to simply do one thing you have to move down after this tag and then you have to now just write here another tag which should be as let issue so here i will be writing let issue arr like this and i will be now just writing here let issue arr json dot parts and i will be now just writing here local storage write dot get item and here i will be writing dot or you can say normally issues like this then you have to close this tag after closing this you have to now write another tag which will be like going to so here i will be writing one comment like going to array and finding the id that matches and then write here the one on click issue then here i will be writing c because the spelling mistake was here then again i will be writing another uh, you can say another comment as matches id from click issue and issues in local storage then here you have to write when match so again i will be writing this so i will be writing when match is found issue is b so here i will be writing issue is being deleted on that index number so i am writing the issue for my convenience but if you don't want to write this comments here or issues here so it's your choice you don't right but i am writing so i can convince and i can see that these are the issues which we have written and if we get some mistakes so we can also solve that easily uh, with the help of these commits which we are giving on every function which we are creating so i will be now just again writing another comment which will be our last comment as the issue is now only being deleted from the local storage so from this tag function i will be deleting the issue from my local storage so i will be now writing here for that i equal to 0 then i will be writing i issues arr and then you have to write here let here then you have to now close this i plus plus make curly bracket and move down and write here if issues arr and then you have to write here i tag dot id here we will be using then here you have to write deleted issue id so here i will be writing deleted issue id like this and here you have to now write issues arr dot splice and i will be writing here i comma 1 then close this tag here after doing that you have to simply write here break and then you have to now write here new and updated write here issues array this again b then you have to write here store in local storage so this is another comment which we have used then i will be now writing a local storage set item so here i will be writing that then write here issues comma and write here json dot stringify and then you have to write here issues arr now you have to just do one thing you have to now create 
a comment here so i will be writing issue on which user click is now being removed then i will be writing from the page now write here e dot target parent dot node or directly you can write parent node dot parent node write here remove so i will be writing that then make this bracket and here you have to just move down write here function that regulates and i will be writing here if the issue is open and then there i will be writing or close then you have to now just write like this create function close issue so there i will be writing e tag and then i will be writing again the tag which should be as selected the element write here that holds and then you have to write here open value and then when you just written this thing you have to now write here let issue open and then you have to write here e dot target then write here parent node so there i will be writing then write here parent node again you have to write dot children zero and write here children one then you have to close this and write here selecting id from the click item then you have to just write here cons close issue so here i will be writing cons close issue id equal to and i will be writing e dot target so just create a tag which will be as e dot target parent node dot parent node again and then you have to write here children after writing this you have to write here zero then here i will be writing children and then you have to write here zero here as well then write here children one then write dot and here i will be now just writing inner that we have in like this close this here and now we have to check that we have just done it perfectly or not so i think that we have just done it good so now when you just done with that all stuff simply here you have to move down after this step and after moving down i will be just writing another tag which will be as changing so here i will be writing changing value of the so here i will be writing changing value of the issue on the page so write like this now write here issue is open and then you have to write here inner file like this and write here close so there you have to now close this and write here parsing and write here issue the array and here you have to write form the local so i will be using the form the local tag in which i will be now writing here local storage so spelling should be perfect so i will be writing local storage to update click issue now when you just written this you can see we have written that and i will be writing issue arr equal to json okay so we have to write issues so i will be writing json dot parse and here i will be writing local storage and then you have to just write here dot right here get item and then you have to now write here issues so here i will be writing issues like this then close this tag and then here i will be writing for let i equal to zero then you have to now just do one thing you have to write here i and i will be writing here issues arr and then you have to write here length i plus plus then you have to now just move down right here if issues arr i and then write here dot id equal to close issue and i will be now just writing here id then you have to now just move down right here issues arr i and then right here this open then create here equal to close then you have to just now close this right here break right like this uploading newly so here i will be writing uploading newly updated issues array back to the local storage then here you have to write local storage then here i will be writing dot set item and here i will be writing issues comma json dot stringify so here i will be now writing issues so right here issues arr and then you have to now just do one thing like here i will be saving this and then here from top we have to check that we have done all the things perfectly fine or not so where we have just written issues arr so here we have to check that we should be writing issues not issue because anywhere if we have written issue so i think that then we will be getting some mistake and then our project will be not done so remember that every where which we have written issues should be written as issues so here you can just see we have written that Okay, so I think that all the things are perfectly fine, and then we can now just reload to check all the things are perfectly working or not. So just I will be saving this all stuff from here, and then I will be moving on to my Google Chrome and reloading this thing.
so you can see nothing is happening just we are getting these all things there but when i am pressing any button so it is also not happening means that we are still have to style this thing to get more good looking but we have done all the back end work so it will be working there just we have to use some of the things to get the styling more good looking so for doing that just move on to the file we have done all the styling yet but still we have to check we are getting some mistake here and because of that our project is not styled really good so for doing that just if i move on to my main file you can see we are getting all the things in this main file here working and now i think that it is totally amazing so we have to check what things we have not written really good so we have not written the style sheet okay so we have written the style sheet but we have not written any link of the font so i will be now writing here h with and i will be removing this rel here because we have already linked our style sheet at the top then i will be using this http as font so i will be writing it as font google and then i will be writing here apis.com slash so here i will be writing css to then write here family equal to roboto and here i will be writing like this weight and then you have to write at the rate 400 and write here 700 and then you have to write here display equal to so like this then here you have to just now write here rel equal to style sheet here so it's your choice if you want to write you can write but it is not compulsory to write it save it and then move on to the browser reload you can see the font family has been changed there and it is looking good so i will be moving at the top again to check what things we are getting or what error we are getting here so you can see we have written the first of all the diff class as main which is perfectly fine then diff class main header we have created and the main problem is here i think we have to close this div as well but we have not do that so i will be saving this file here as well now after saving the file just simply do one thing like we have just used the main tag main icon and here we have also closed the div but we have not written anything in this div so you can see it is fine i think okay in this main div we have only written one thing here so issue input then we have created after that and in this issue input we have created a h1 class of issue input heading and i think it is good so then after that we have created another class of what an input but we are getting these dashes after the bond and after the end which we have written so remember you should also be getting that but if you have created with any other name so you can also just create with any other name class so you can see i have written the div class bond so we are getting the bond description like this which is fine bond assigned to okay so it is also good means that we are getting all the things perfectly fine here then we have created a input in which we have written the class as input field description by giving a space so it is also good placeholder as description type tags and here we have written field assigned to so it is also good so i think that we have now done perfectly good things here and then we have just uh, closed these divs here by using these two divs then we have used the severity tag and with severity we have used the severity ranking also then p low uh, so paragraph tag is having the low tag medium high high is fine range minimum we are getting zero maximum two step one value zero class severity range like at the top we have written here so now we are getting all the stuff then if i scroll down so we are getting a input button here which is having submit written but you can also write any other thing if you want and then we are getting the issue board tag which we have created you can see issue board we are getting then after this issue board we are getting the issues tag here you can see and here we have just get in the div but we will be removing this div here because now we know save it here and then we load you can see now these all things have been styled but still we have to check if we are getting some things errors okay so i think that now the all the errors has been sorted out and we are not getting any error and our project is now looking good so we should be more styling it so we can get some other stuff in the file so i will be just moving on to my the styling file to get some styling on the project here you can add some things like uh, if you want to add some height or heading that wise thing you can add here so i will be now just moving here in this step simply i will be now just giving some space from here so we can add some things here so i will be now using the main class which we have used at the top as well in this styling so i will be giving it the height as 85 percent width also as 70 percent then you have to now create your background color so we can just get some background color on our page which we will be creating as white and here i will be also writing a border radius which will be as 40 pixels now you have to just write here display blacks and then here i will be writing justify content which should be as center right here align items as well which should be as center then right here position related 
and then you have to use the main header on no with main header i want to also use the comment so i will be using the comment as header of the main div like this and i will be writing a line at the top and circle with image like this then you have to close this then you have to just move down and write here dot main header and then you have to just now write here dot zero and write here position absolute and then write here height which should be 10 percent and then you have to write here width 100 percent and then you have to now just do one thing like i will be writing background color which should be as 18232d then you have to just now create border top left radius like this and here i will be writing it as 40 pixel and i will be also writing border right radius which should be as 40 pixel now you have to just write your main icon and in main icon i will be writing the height 100 pixel and i will be also writing the width as 100 pixel then create your position as absolute and i will be writing here top 4 percent and i will be writing here border radius as well so just simply write here border radius 50 percent and then you have to write your background color as well now just you have to create background image so here i will be now writing background image as having the url of image slash and i will be writing that security.png the image name and i will be also writing background position as center then you have to just write here background position x so here you have to write background position as x will be in center then you have to just move down and then in here i will be writing 54 percent so here I will be writing background repeat as no repeat. Now you have to just move down and create another uh, comment. So for creating the comment, just use the same tag which we have used at the top as if that holds description. Then I will be now just writing here comma assign to and severity input fields. Then here you have to close this comment. So remember when we are creating comment in our styling file, so for creating the comment you have to use this slash with this uh, star and if you don't use that and if you normally write to uh, like you can say slash like we were writing in this js file so for for that you have to write it in the js file but if you do the same thing in this styling file so it will be not working and giving you the error so remember you have to write the comment like this in a styling file when you are when you want to write the comment but it not uh, like I told you previously as well, it is not compulsory to write the comment, but if you want to write comment, you just remember the things which you are creating, so you can write the comment. And because of that, I am also writing here. So I will be writing here issue input. So I will be now just writing here like this issue input. Then here I will be now creating height as 70%. So normally I will be creating that here. And with that, I will be also writing the width as 30%. Then create here border radius as 40 pixel and write here margin right this should be as 20 pixel and here i will be writing margin top as well 8 percent and i will be writing here padding as 15 pixel and then when you just written this you have to write here display as flex then write here flex direction column and write here justify content should be space evenly so here i will be writing like this now you have write here align item as center and write here position as well then you have to now write here issue input and write here heading then you have to create color f four seven seven six three six. and after writing that you have to now simply write here font size as pre and write here another class as this and i will be writing this that holds bond signs and i will be now just writing here bond signs comma and description then you have to write here add assign to so here I will be writing as assigned to fields. So here you have to now just close this like this. Now you have to write here dot bar and input. Then you have to now just write here position relative and I will be writing here left 5%. And then you have to create margin top as 2%. And here I will be writing width as 110%. Now you have to write here display as flex. Then you have to write here this tag and then write here diff that holds. So here I will be writing two bond signs. If user did not fill the fields. So when you just written that you have to simply make this close. So now we have closed this. So write here bond again and then write here width as 10%. And write here margin right also which should be as 2%. 
and then write your display flags and write flags direction as follows. Now when you just written that stuff, so you have to now create and justify content space between. Then you have to write your position as related. Then you have to just write here again a tag which should be as bond sign. And then I will be writing the next to description. And here I will be writing input field. Then you have to make this tag here and close this as well. So here close the comment and I will be writing bond description having the position as absolute. And here I will be writing top 34%, right as 2%, and I will be also writing here visibility as hidden. Then you have to write here again the same tag, and I will be writing bond sign max to assign to, and I will be writing here input field, and then close this tag here, and write here bond assign to, and here you have to write this tag, right position as absolute, and write here bottom. This should be as 7%. Now you have to write here right as 2% and then write here visibility hidden. Then you have to now write here this tag and write same properties. So here I will be writing same properties for two inputs fields. And I will be now just writing dash. So here I will be removing the S from here input fields. Then write here description and assign to. So here I will be writing then close the comment here. After closing the comment, you have to now create normally the input field here. Yes. So I will be writing input field here like this. Right color as 80080. And write the font size 20 pixels. Then you have to write a width 80%. And then you have to write a padding 20 pixels. And I will be writing the border as well. Now you have to write your background as none as well. And write your border bottom. This should be as 4 pixels. Solid and I will be writing 1, 8, 2, 3, 2, 2. Then when you just written that, you have to simply write here transition point to yes. Now here you have to write here again margin bottom as 5%. Then you have to write here input field and I will be writing here focus. Write here outline as none. So here I will be writing. Then you have to write here border bottom 4 pixel solid and I will be writing 477666. Then write here placeholder. Right color 808080 and then you have to now just move down and then here I will be again creating a comment in which I will be just writing it as severity. Right here diff that tools the range. So here I will be writing that tools range of the so here I will be writing that tools range of the issue dash low media and then I will be writing and high. Here you have to close this. Then right here severity. And write font size as 20 pixel and write your color, which should be 80080. And then you have to write your margin top 10% and write your width as well, which should be 80%. Now write your 70 dash and I will be writing the ranking. So there you have to now just do one thing, remove this, and I will be writing 70 dash ranking. And then here you have to now create display as flags. And then you have to write like this file content as space evenly. Then you have to now write the margin bottom as 3%. Then you have to now just write the 70 and write the range. Create back fit appearance and write the none. Write the width as 100% and background as 5. Now when you just done that, you have to now create their normally border as 3 pixels solid and I will be writing here 18232B. Then here you have to just write border radius. Here I will be writing 20 pixels. Then write the outline also as one. Well. Now when you just written that, you have to simply do one thing. You have to write here a tag which will be like as 70. So here I will be now writing 70 range. And then here I will be writing hover. Write here cursor as pointer. Then here you have to just move down and then create here another uh, you can say comment which will be as styling the scroll bar and here I will be writing for 70 and I will be writing here day. Then you have to close this and here I will be writing 70 range and then you have to just write here web kit scroll bar and all you can say just you can write web kit slider thumb and here I will be writing web kit appearance. So here I will be writing web kit appearance and then here I will be writing none. Write your background as 47766. Then write your height 20 pixels 
and right here we will also as 20 pixel then create a border radius normally as 20 pixel and i will be also writing here cursor which we have written with the hover of 70 range at the top cursor pointer so here also i will be using the cursor as pointer so i will be using the perfect spelling here save now after saving the dot thing we can see we are now getting all the things working so we have written dot 70 dot range here but still we have to now use the dash to save it here like this and now we are getting all the things working so i will be just simply moving down and again i will be creating a format as submit button and i will be writing here for the info gather so here i will be now just writing here gathered in previous so here i will be writing in previous input and here i will be writing keys then when you've written this you have to just close this tag here like this and write here input button and then you have to now just take it height as 10 percent so now you can see we are getting the height as well here as 10 percent then write here width as 45 percent like this and then i will be writing the margin top as 10 percent and write here background color which will be 47766 and then write here color of text f4 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 and write here border as 3 pixel solid and i will be writing 47766 write here border radius as 40 pixel and i will be writing here like font weight which should be 700 and i will be now writing here transition which will be as is in out and then you have to write here point radius then when you just hit this you have to write here display flex and then you have to write here justify content center and i will be writing here align icon center then save it here and after saving this file just if i show you here on my browser by reloading that all stuff you can see we are getting all the things working and now if i just show you one thing which is really amazing in this amazing issue breaker app which we have created here so if i just write any description like this is issue breaker like this if i write description and now i want to write assign to and i will be giving the name of my like inshallah now you have to select from here like from where you want this issue tracker will be running from low medium or high so i will be selecting low first and i will be pressing submit after pressing the submit button you will be getting the thing here on the left side or you can say on the right but still we are not getting means that we have done some error and because of that we are not getting this thing so for doing that just open your file in your folder with notepad and then after opening the file just we have to simply do one thing move on to the downloads where we have stored this file and then here I will be moving on to my recycle bit to restore the issue tracker. So you can see this is the thing. I will be restoring it. After restoring, I will be moving on to downloads and I will be moving into my project. After moving in the project, here you can see we are getting this. Okay, so by mistake, I will done this thing. So I will be moving on to downloads. Then I will be just deleting this and move to recycle bit again. You can see this is the issue tracker which we are getting so i will be restoring it here and i will be deleting this from here and then again you have to just extract this so it will take some time to extract it has been extracted now if i just show you this file by open so go to notepad you can see we are getting all the things in this file like we were getting here so i will be moving on to my vs code in this file you can see and then save it you can see now we are getting all the things which we have written here but perfectly now we are getting just in that we have getting some mistake and now when we have just saved that all this time just take this file at the back and now there as well save this so you can see now we are getting all the things here in this file and i will be saving it after saving this just move on to the browser reload it and if i write any description here in this like if i write this is a uh, issue tracker app like this now move on to assign to and I will be writing assign to this is assign to inshallah so here I will be writing this my name now we will be taking it on low if you want to take it on medium or high you can do that but I will be just taking it on low and I will be pressing the submit button here after pressing the submit button you can see we are getting this amazing thing running it is saying that description as this is a issue tracker app and it is saying that it is low time it is having a low time and it is also saying me that it is assigned to this is assigned to inshallah so it is also getting the user profile pic if you having the if you are having the profile pic so you can just put the profile pic of the user but i am not having and because of that i have just put a random profile pic 
and here i just put this is a site in charge if you want to close it close or if you want to delete it delete and we are getting this open button as well if i press this open button so nothing happens because it is only a front end ui button which i created so there is no back end on this button but we are getting the back end on this amazing issue tracker application and now you want to close it by pressing this close button you can close if you want to delete it so you can press this delete button to delete again you can just create i will be writing the description as issue tracker so i will be writing app like this and i will be writing the name as live network ali hot like this now i will be pressing submit here as well and i will be taking this on medium press submit and you can see we are getting again the issue tracker app running and we are saying it is saying us that it is medium time having and it is also saying me that who is it is assigned to so it is giving the name of the user bilal and the link on like this it is giving the name of the user and if you want to close you can press this close button and you can see when i press the close so we are getting at the top close written if you are if you have not closed this so you will be not getting the close it will be written as open but now i press this close button and because of that we are getting this close written here at the top and if you want to delete so simply you can delete and if you want to add more issue tracker so you can also add it here so i will be writing this is the second issue tracker app and then i will be giving it the name as this is or you can say you can normally write the name of the user so i will be writing ahmed ali then i will be pressing this submit here after pressing submit if i scroll down so you can see this is the first one which we have closed and this is the second one which we have created now and it is having the time of close you can also take it to high if you want you can add it this and if you want to close it so simply press this close button and you will be getting text here as close as well you can see we are getting written here as close as well now if you want to delete it you can press normally this red delete button and it will be deleting your issue tracker press delete down here i will be moving and pressing delete you can see now the down what has been removed and you can also see we have created a simple this amazing scrolling bar which is looking really good so i have also created this using the styling of tailwind and i hope you understand how we have created so you can close this like by pressing this close button and if you want to delete i have telling you you can just use this red button here to delete this option so this was the amazing project which i want to show you here so i hope you understand how we have just created this amazing issue tracker application from start using these all amazing languages i will be also bring up many other things using these all stuff here i am also building really big project of 5 to 6 hour or 8 to 10 hour which i will be doing up soon and i hope you will be also enjoying that project because that is that project will be also having many of the important thing which you need to learn about many different languages like next year react yes and all that stuff so if you have enjoyed this video remember to hit a like and if you are new on the channel want to see more videos like that so subscribe on this channel and tell me in the comment section what thing do you want from me in future so soon inshallah i'll be building that thing as well and also tell me like if you want different projects using next year tailwind or react yes so i'll be bringing up that projects as well so i hope you understand this video enjoy this and share this video with your friends and family members so they can also learn how we can just create these amazing issue tracker applications using different languages here so just i'll be meet you next project with more amazing things and more amazing tutorials using these all amazing different languages and new technologies so for today good bye